Hello and welcome to another lecture for History of Journalism at Temple University. I'm Professor Harper and today we'll talk a little bit about George Orwell, uh, the pen name of uh, Eric Blair, who we basically know from his fictional accounts like 1984, but who was uh, a prominent journalist and wrote some some great journalism um, between you know in his in in the 1900s. So looking at Eric Blair, uh, he was born in uh, India in 1903 and was educated in England and he he started out as a uh, uh, an Indian Imperial Police Officer for five years. He eventually resigned because of his increasing disillusionment with British imperialism and at the time Blair was a socialist um, but he will see in his later writings where he he basically found uh, a great many problems with socialism and particularly communism under Joseph Stalin. His early writings um, included Down and Out in Paris and London, which described his experiences as a struggling writer. He was commissioned to produce a documentary account of unemployment in North England, and the road to Wigan Pier um, was you know, one of his uh, books which uh, demonstrated that he was uh, a great writer and he became um, you know, a great journalist. The uh, story that we'll read uh, for this week is called The Spike and basically The Spike was uh, a series of uh, almost prison-like conditions where unemployed uh, individuals and uh, and the homeless traveled from one place to the other and it's also a, a bit of investigative journalism uh, where Orwell goes or Eric Blair goes, Eric Blair goes undercover to, to uh, write about the uh, the conditions of the spike. As I said, he was a committed socialist and went to Spain uh, in 1936 to report on the Spanish Civil War. And he actually decided to join the struggle uh, and became a member of the Lenin Division in Barcelona, a unit under the control of the Workers' Party of Marxist Unification. Um, a sniper's bullet caused his left side to be paralyzed and he temporarily lost his voice. He actually had to escape Spain when the Nationalists under Francisco Franco won that war, uh, that civil war just before World War II. His later writings included homage to, or homage to Catalonia about his experience in, this, in the Spanish Civil War. Uh, Animal Farm, which many of you probably read in high school, which is a satire about communism, and you, you start to see his moving away from um, the socialist communist orb. And 1984, which was published in 1949, was a satire about the, the threat of political tyranny. He died in Scotland of pneumonia. Um, he uh, lived only 47 years, but his contributions to journalism, to political thinking, were uh, among the, the best of the early 20th century. So that's George Orwell or Eric Blair, and thanks very much for listening, and we'll see you online.